Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing Scion Jungle. We got auto-filled in our off-meta to Master Tier series, and uh, I was even thinking about playing Urgot Jungle because there's someone that's been asking for a lot of Urgot games. I don't know what went through my head to pick Scion because it was in my head to pick Urgot, but I guess I decided against it. What's going on? Are they going to start my red? No way, right? I don't think that they can. I mean, they don't even have sweepers, so they can't even kill my stuff. We're going to start with Q, I think. Yeah, it deals a lot of damage to jungle camps, so it's probably better. It's on a shorter cooldown, too, so... We do it about now. It takes about two seconds to charge it, so I'm just doing it uh, about one second beforehand. You don't want to accidentally mess it up where, like, you can't... You do it too early and then you miss it, that would be bad. Oh my god, that was perfect. Start W next. What's nice about Scion Jungle is whenever you finish a camp or kill anything, including lane creeps, you get permanent HP. Which is, uh, believe it or not, pretty damn effective for uh, Scion. I'm just going to smite that. They have Fiddlesticks. I think top might be more gankable than bot because of Sona. With your shield, you want to pop it at the end. Uh, your shield can actually be broken, and then you can't pop it for damage. Your shield just does damage to everything around you, and it does percent max HP damage, which is a lot. And it does, I think, bonus damage to minions and monsters as well. So I'm going to put another point into my uh, Q just to make it so I, as you can see, like one-shot it. Scion Jungle actually has a really, really easy clear. It's very fast. Because his damage is so damn high on his abilities, and they're kind of short, too. I just assumed that guy had no flash. Anivia didn't ping anything, so... I had no idea if he did or not, but considering how low he was, I just figured. I took all of it. I'm going to smite that as well. That's okay with me. I got to get out of here. I'm probably going to get ganked from bot side. So I have phase rush, so if I can hit three abilities, I can escape. Plus, we did manage to steal out of the fiddle six camps, plus... Uh, Delay him from doing his own jungle. He might be on red buff right now. But that's fine with me. Yeah, I can go behind them. Sure, why not, dude? We can attempt it. I did manage to hit that, so he's pretty uh, slow right now. Unable to kill that guy, but that's okay. Now, for Scion Jungle, it's more fun going Lethality than anything else, so that's what I'm going to be going for. Isn't this warded? Yeah, they know where I'm at, but I guess we can try to deny the wave. Twitch might be stealth, though. I knocked him up. This ward shot him. I'm tanking. Okay, cool. We killed somebody. I mean, it sucks that one person died, but... Slow the Vokas. I'm pretty sure we should just leave. After this next wave. Slowed him. Wait, can we actually kill him? No, right? No. There's no way. Hey, he knows that I'm here. I'm leaving. That's warded. Uh, I'm really worried about Twitch coming, so... Okay, good. We see where he is. Did I change my runes? 
Okay, these are the runes that I'm running this game. So I'm taking Phase Rush with some runes for uh, movement speed because I think that moving fast is really, really, really strong for Scion because the hardest part is getting on top of people. Uh, if you're able to run at them and get on top of them, you know, I have Water Walking and Celerity and Nimbus Cloak and even Relentless Hunter. I have basically every single movement speed rune in the game besides maybe Magical Footwear. Um, dang it, dude. Sucks that Anivia's gonna miss this giant wave, but I guess it's okay that I'm gonna take it. Also, I think uh, Fiddlesticks is in my jungle taking my camps, which also is annoying me. Okay, I'm pretty sure he dies here because there's no Blast Cone for him to escape with. Oh, cool, you knocked him into tower. That's sick. Oh, this Mordekaiser might ulti me. I mean, we can poke him a little bit, but I don't know if I'm confident enough fighting him. Dang, I really wish that we could have caught the fiddle. I don't think uh, he should have flashed. He should have just continued to stay on him and then try to pressure him and then uh, do something later. So yeah, we're going to go Lethality Scion. Why lethal Lethality Scion even works anywhere is because of your really... I think it's broken. Your passive that lets you get the bonus HP whenever you kill something. Uh, lane minions or jungle camps. It gives you more than I think it's supposed to. You to. Like, it's just not fair. So I just get so much free max HP that even when I go full, ta uh, full lethality, I will still have a huge amount of HP. Because I heal, or I get 15, yeah, on large minions and large monsters. So... It's really ridiculous. I really want to be level 6. I'm just going to walk in. See if I can find him. All the camps are gone. Yo, what's up? Dang, I was trying to get the fiddlesticks. He almost ran into me there. I can maybe try to ulti bot after I reach six here. Full charge Q. You can cancel your Q at any time, but you need to make sure that the red outline is full if you want to go for a knockup. Otherwise, it only slows. That guy's dead. I have phase rush, so he'll die too. Sucks that Jin died though. The wave is not very good, dude. It's okay? Okay, if you say so. I think it would have been better for me to crash it and have it bounce, but if you think so. No ultimate for quite some time now. I really want to do Dragon or some type of an objective. Dang, Mordic or Dragus is also really far behind top. 37 CS to 65. Probably gonna go Dustblade this game because Dustblade just got buffed and it deals bonus damage based off of when people are low. I'm just gonna wait to blast cone over once they get a bit closer. Unless this is just warded. Just assist, that's all I want. I'm gonna help out. Oh, well, I'm not trying to take the CS. It looks like you can already do it on your own. So this is warded, let's just clear it and then do the uh, dragon now. We see where Fiddlesticks is. Yeah, screw the dragon at this point. I was trying to counter gank, but because he went away, we should be able to do this. We would see him on this vision ward because he went up, so I don't think that there's any way that he's going to pop up over the wall and scare us.
I could try to ultimate. Although... This might not work. I need to have them step up, otherwise they'll just run away. Yeah, I don't think I'm even gonna do it. It's not even worth it. I know Yomu's is super good because of the movement speed. But I just feel like Dustblade sounds kind of fun. I mean, you get movement speed on all uh, lethality items, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. But the Yomu's active having that movement speed could have been nice. Alright, well, bot fight going on, so I guess I'll rotate down again. They take Rift Herald, but that's okay. We already took Dragon. Damn, he's not even here. That sucks. I'm actually gonna die, too. The Vel'Koz damage is so high. At least I get a pink ward. Yeah, that's the worst ulting versus people that have flash or have stealth. Oh, nice. At least when I die, my team succeeds. Because she's been struggling. No, I'm down CS on this guy now. Oh well. We'll get strong enough eventually. It's gonna take one big ultimate on any of their squishies for me to really contribute a lot. So... Kinda just gonna wait for uh, laning to end, if anything. One thing I'm a bit nervous about is Mordekaiser pressing R on me whenever I group. Because if he just presses R, I think he just hard counters me. Just kill the Rift. That's all I need to do. Six is so damn low. Don't worry, this guy has no flash this time, so he'll die. 84 bonus damage, not really the most. It's alright though. Can I even steal this, or am I gonna walk into fiddle? Fiddlesticks does have no ultimate, because they used it on a Nivea mid, which is why she lost her egg. And it should still be down probably for like another 30 to 40 seconds, maybe a little bit longer. So everybody should be alright versus him, even if they don't know if they're alright. Nice, and Nivea also killed mid again. Dragon's coming up in 50, we can just play for that. Thing. I was hoping somebody would come over here to like clear the wave or uh, try to get vision over this and then when they try to get vision then I can uh, go for them and then I saw the wave I'm like I got to clear the wave in my head so I guess I said that out loud yeah but sometimes you can like camp over walls when people go for vision because if I land a fully charged Q it is going to almost one shot them like it will do like over half of Velkaz's HP at this point probably so they are a pretty terrifying team comp, aren't they? They do have a lot of slows. But I feel like Merc Treads is probably the most valuable. Just because Merc Treads will make it so a lot of their crowd control that's undodgeable, like Fiddlestick's Fear, 
Actually, that's really the only thing. I guess you could also like remove some of the slows as well because Merc Treads just removes the duration of everything. So the duration of Velkaz slow, Trinomir slow. Let's go for Velkaz again. What, there's Fiddlesticks here? No? Strange. I don't know why he turned around to fight with us. He must be here. I'll face check him. I don't worry. I'm not scared. Wow, that's a lot of TPs, huh? Wait, he didn't ult. He just died. Knocked him up. Slowed him. Used my W. Got taken to the death realm. I'll smite this guy. Boom. For an assist. Okay, he flashed. I don't think that we can probably catch him unless we, like, land a Jin's ability. And even then, it's too late. I can't follow it up very easily. We should be careful about Twitch. He's going to be back very soon, so they should just back away before they die to him. Oh, it looks like they're committing. They're going to die. Not that really I could do much anyways, so... I wonder if I can do this. This is... Maybe ballsy to do. I'm trying to drag it towards the brush so they have less vision of it. Wait, you just killed that guy. You don't even need my help. Nice. I guess I'll rotate bot. Fiddlesticks should have no ult, I think. that guy as well. I'm gonna take this. I can clear it very quickly and then we can just do dragon together. The only person that is going to contest could be Fiddlesticks. I do have no smite. So that is the biggest worry right now. Will Fiddlesticks be able to secure this? No, never mind. You want to rip, nice. I haven't seen him in so long that I had no idea where he could have been. I'm okay with trading. Alright, it kind of sucks that I have a lot of money because since I'm fed and I am playing Scion, honestly, using your passive isn't really that bad of an idea, so... I don't really want to die because I would give a big bounty to people, but... I'm just going to wait down here again and ultimate bot again if uh, Twitch steps up. I mean, they probably will step up eventually. I'm just waiting. Wait, dude, where where is he? Well, oh, they're playing so far back. Maybe this is too difficult. I'm not going to do a tower dive or anything. Holy crap, I just destroyed that guy. I'm just gonna smite him so I can get behind him. If I do land my ultimate, I one shot most squishies in the entire game. The hard part is actually landing it. I had no idea if Twitch even had flash there because I haven't really been paying attention to these fights enough to see when he does use it, so I honestly assumed when I did that that there's potential that held his flash away and I just put myself in a dangerous position, but it's later in the game, and you can see my, my Soul Furnace max HP is already so damn high. This number is how much max HP, HP I've gained, so... Almost 900 HP gained, which is more than a Warmogs, I believe. I think a Warmogs is 800, so... I'm gonna shove this out because the Nivea went top. Wow, I missed the cannon. Bummer. God, I have so much money right now, but... I want to see if they're at my red. 
Was it just recently taken? I don't know if this guy has ultimate or if he just like got bursted so fast that he didn't realize. I don't know. Um, collector is good because if you accidentally crit, like just through luck, sometimes you can uh, catch people off guard because your auto attack will hit really hard. I could also go a Titanic because this gives a uh, bonus AD based off of your HP and I have a lot of HP even without building HP items at all, so it might not be that bad even though we're Lethality Scion. Uh, if they kill Fiddlesticks, we should just do Baron. You know what? We can just do it now. Screw it. Wait, where is he TPing to? Mordekaiser just TP'd in. I really want to do it since Fiddle Six died, but I guess I'll rotate up instead. Use my W to, as the finisher there. Scion W damage as you level it up because it's finally level five since I'm level thirteen. Um, does a lot of damage uh people think that it's only scion q that does damage if you get to not lose your shield and pop it it hits for 156 which is like meh but plus 14 percent of their max hp and it's max hp not current so it doesn't matter how low they are you're it's still gonna hit for probably a few hundred which is a lot versus squishies okay we'll just smite that and then this base Um, I'm gonna go for, like, this. You know what? Let's just build... Let's build Axiomark. That sounds, like, fun. Just have, like, really, really good, uh... Ultimate... Cooldown? I couldn't think of the word. Cooldown reduction? I guess? I almost landed on him. I'm probably gonna die. But, can I do anything? No, Fiddle Six feared me. 1,000 gold to Mordekaiser. Did everybody die? I mean, all, all that happened was I went for the Twitch. I missed. So, as soon as I missed, I got CC'd and died. So. It's very easy to die on this champion if you make a mistake where you miss, like, one ability. At least my team was able to clean it up, though. Does Fiddle still have ult? Is he gonna ult in? Oh, there's Fiddlesticks. I mean, this is our third dragon, so if we're able to secure this, uh... Only one more for soul. It's actually crazy how much... I'm gonna smite that, sorry dude, but like... I'm trying to get HP here. This is never gonna work. I don't know why it followed up his thing. I'm too far away. I guess if Twitch never respects the Scion ultimate noise, because everybody can hear it, maybe I could have killed him if he wasn't paying attention. My ultimate cooldown is a pretty short one, too, so it's not too sad using it like that, but still, it's pretty dumb to try when he's that far away. I'll never hit him. This guy's really tanky, dude.
I'm not even gonna go for him. It's not even worth it. Yeah, we can give Jin red here because uh, buff sharing. So, so uh, Sona took it. Why? Why did she even try to help? I don't get that. Whatever. Also, this uh, Twitch's build is so strange with the uh, Dust Blade. It's so weird. Doesn't feel very good. I feel. I feel like uh, also because they have so much armor, we should probably get some Last Whisper item in. But I'll do that as a final item. Dang, I missed. Made him ult. My team is dying. Is it even worth chasing this guy? Guess not. I'm gonna go mid, see if we can maybe catch someone. Oh, I have my ultimate back. Because the Axie Mark. My ultimate cooldown's so short. <laughs> okay, we really need to like take their inhib or something, so let's just shove out mid and try to get that because uh we've been spending a lot of time just doing these random fights that aren't really uh getting us that much sometimes, so that guy has no ultimate, right? I mean he used it, yeah. Versus me, so. God, 38 second ultimate now. Kill that guy. Baron in 20. What, is Twitch coming? No, he didn't go. But Fiddle 6 found Sona. Fiddle 6 has no ultimate now, though. I doubt that they're on it. They would need Twitch to help. So fast. I don't really like going for this guy because he's so damn tanky. like around now I timed that pretty well we should just went for dragon oh guys is trying to end dang it dude that was so damn close whatever I think Gragas is ending it's all right. <clears throat> I saw the TP bot, so I knew he was going for i uh... I'm going to go bot and help. I mean, Gregs can just end. I want to be part of a final fight. I wanted to kill someone before I, the game ended, but yeah, the one huge downside of going this item is just that it gives you ability haste and less lethality than 
going for Yomu's because Yomu's gives flat lethality as its mythic passive, and mythic passive matters a lot, so otherwise it felt pretty good. I guess I didn't look at the damage dealt at the very end, so I don't necessarily know how much it did, if it was actually worth it, but I still liked it. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Scion jungle commentary video. I know there's probably plenty of people who have never even seen this pick, but he is surprisingly good at jungling, as you can see from the clears and stuff. The downside is ganking, but I mean, I just ganked bot and repeat. I mean, bot lane is... One of the most important roles in the entire game. So I'm going to give it to Anivia. She was struggling mid and managed to somehow kill that guy on repeat. And we got promoted to Diamond 1 now. So we are now D1. Did not do the most damage in the game. Never thought that I probably would. It's pretty hard to pull that off. Um, but almost second most on my team. With Twitch and Trinomir not really uh, performing very well. Wow, I got a lot of honors that game. Cool. Thanks for the honors, guys. Um... I did do this most self-mitigated damage, so I guess that's the most uh, damage taken, or tanked, and I don't know. I don't know what self-mitigated necessarily means in terms of looking at the charts compared to other people. Most two objectives, but that kind of makes sense as a gentler. So yeah, thanks for watching once again, guys. Uh, you know, hopefully it was a good off-meta video to showcase this pick if you've never heard of, of it before, and... It's, I still think Scion W is one of the reasons why he is such a strong character. Being able to freely get, I think at the end of the game, around 1,300 health for free is ridiculous. Uh, so I think it's one of the best stacking and easy stacking champions in the entire game. With Nasus, Vigar, you have to last hit. With Scion, it's just kill things. Doesn't matter how you kill them, you just get it. So it's very powerful. So have a good day. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.